have too many automation processes. The one is workflows, approval process, process builder, right? But we remembered or we didn't? Uh, so in the same way we have a flows we have a flows before it was referred as the visual flows now Salesforce also concentrated in a flow development they they improved so much I mean they have so many changes in the flow which is so powerful now so let's say if I create a new flow it's like a screen type of development it's like a screen type of development so you have a screen and you have a logics assignment decision not equal to equal to or you want to pass the loop or you wanted to iterate collections and it can capable in doing four things creating a records updating records get records and delete records create records update records get records and delete records and core actions Apex action legacy functions, Apex actions email alerts and subflow. It is also capable to call another flow from this flow. Okay. The input forms are any messages if you want to build, you need to build from screen. You need to build from screen. Let's say I wanted to create a flow which creates new contact for me, which creates new contact for me. So whenever you drag in, it will ask you for a label. Just say that new contact form. Once done, if you need a previous and all these stuffs in the footer, you can keep it. But you can, if you want to remove this footer and header, you have see header you removed and footer we removed. If you need only header, yes, fine. Footer is also fine. We can able to do whatever we wanted. And let's say I need previous and pass is removed. Okay. And then what I need, if I need to enter some data, I need a text fields, right? Yes. So we have a text fields available. We have text fields available. Let's say this is my first name. Sorry. Name. M -A -M -A -A. First name, required this field, next one, last name, required, phone number, required, and then let's say email required and then once i done with the, i de designed my input form right now input form is ready for me right mm. now let me say whenever the flow starts i need to call my input form so this is done whenever flow starts my input form is called whenever flow starts my input form is called now i need to create a record right new contact form in the sense whatever data i entered here i need to create a record so you need to take a data operations create record new contact are you creating one record or multiple records hello one record, one record only right yes okay and how you are getting your input data? You are getting data from variables or from a values? I mean, from other screens. We are getting a values from screens, right? Yes. Now we need to use separate variables. If it is from variables from other object, then you have to use this. Else, you need to use separate variables. Now here which object? Contact object, right? Right or wrong? Hello? To which object records you are trying to create? Contact object only? Yes, sir. 
and then first name this is from object this is from screen component and then last name, last name <coughs> mapped with last name and we have phone also oh. phone and then we have let's say i'm not adding email field now i'm not adding email field now we'll see what's the problem i'll create a variable new resource if you want to create a new variable you need to why whenever whenever contact is created i need to hold that contact id i need to store that contact id so create new resource new resource is type of a variable create variable type is contact id let's say c o n id data type is record object name is contact then now click now select variable contact and then scroll down to your id now this particular record will go to store your contact id this particular record will go to store your contact id for other components if you need to create click done so now i done with my new data operation so i am connecting it i am connecting it let's say save new contact this is a screen flow you need to launch automatically you need to call right so it is this there are two types auto launcher means can be invoked from other process builders or contact request flow flow service mobile app field service snap in flow so all these are different functions use i don't know user provisioning flow what i need to do but screen flow is something we need to call from the urls i'll come back what is that that's a new option for me before it was not there save now once you save go back i'm just duplicating it open this flow and click active okay now you can see i'm copying the url you don't want to do anything just copy the url it's a url based flow invocation search for it so you got the screen right what we designed till now yes if i go back if i go forward what is this unhandled exception please contact system administrator there is error right this is not a right way to display message this is not a right way to display message we need to handle this error we need to handle such errors why we are getting you know we didn't provided email but contact need email address okay this is wanted i did it now i'll go back i'll edit my flow sorry this one open i'll edit my flow let's say here you have screens display text let's say success display text your contact created contact created in the system 
this is my screen this is my screen this is for a positive case what about negative case now what about negative case so i am taking a another message another screen and let's see not success so here you have output text sorry display text here you have yes control here you have option called yes oh, one minute we have option called s control control minus Yes flow. You have an option called S flow. In this you have a fault message. In this you have a in this you have a fault message. Let's say here you have a fault message, right? Fault message will display your error always. F A U L T fault. So now I'll try to connect. Whenever there is any fault, whenever any fault, I mean any exceptions or something, automatically it will display your which one it will display fault message now let's say i'm going back to my flow new contact again i'm doing some random data next Problem with the save as new contact. Back new contact. Deactivate version two. You got it right now. This error record which of the flow trying to create field custom validation exception. This is the message that we are getting in a UI required new contact which is not so brave. And if you feel link, I mean, it's something like a new which we handled already. If you want to go previous, you can go previous, correct it and come back. Else, else, let's say. Now I need to do something else. I mean, let's open it. I wanted to fix. Let me show you the correct way. In the new contact, what happened? Why this is coming? New contact. Activate one open. Now go to the new contact. I'll map the fields now. I'll map the fields. Before I didn't map my email, right? Now I will map my email. 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 Save. Now I mapped my variable with my flow, right? Save as. Back new contact version 3 i am activated now in the journey look at this flow
now you need to get a success message thinking that my data is successful now we need to get a positive flow instead of negative before we saw the negative way now we'll see what is positive way your contact is created in the system right now if i go to my contacts if i go my contacts contacts now they see the record is created just now right isn't it sridhar yeah not only with this i need to add a file attachment i need to add a file attachment let's say whenever the contact is created next thing it will ask to upload a file like a photo or something like this okay for that again we need to design a system are we holding any values are we holding any values we are not holding any values we are holding a values in new new contact whenever contact is created we are storing our contact id in a variable con id okay now i'll define my new screen upload file so we have upload option upload file there is a component available in this you can say upload attachment file upload label is set user id related record is contact id and then i need to use created contact id where is this created id account id okay id contact id so once done accepted multiple forms allow multiple files allow multiple files you can say global constant true and then i don't want to allow previous and next remove previous and pass button click on done whenever new contact is created whenever new contact is created i need to call my upload files whenever the upload file is created i need to call my success right whenever uploads is created i need to call uploads else i need to or a one minute so this is just a input right control z aha uh -huh. manager streams uploaded files new contact form new contact record contact id okay hmm i need to create display text display your contact created so now i am connecting my upload files to record created successful the next level okay i'm just saving as new contact with upload say back new contact activate it now you know now it will ask your contact creation plus upload files contact creation plus upload files let's say 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन जीरो लेट्स से फर्स्ट नेम इज अपलोड फाइल्स ईमेल नेक्स्ट लाइटनिंग I can't show that upload file only. The problem is that it is it needed domain enabling. Now it will ask for a domain enable. This is for a lightning is for not for this. It is for. This. Okay. One minute. Last try I'll do. One dot lightning dot. Go dot okay. URL doesn't exist. Johnson, let me. The issue is this with the light.